Everybody looking forward to the playoffs, and a win tonight will clinch a top six berth. Park. Missed it. Rebound Washington. Bertans lets it go. The horn sounds, and Atlanta, your Hawks are going back to the NBA playoffs. Which team is under the radar for you going into the playoffs, Kendrick Perkins? When I look under, when I talk about under the radar, I talk about, I want to talk about a team that no one is talking about, right? No one. Can we talk about the Atlanta Hawks for a second? Do it. They have the makeup and they're winning games and they're steady flying under the radar and everyone is taking this team for granted. Everyone is saying, oh, well, we can't wait to get the Hawks in the first round matchup. Like the Hawks are no pushover. They're they're in the middle of the pack of the Eastern Conference for a reason. I have the Atlanta Hawks beating the New York Knicks in the first round. Carry the hell on. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you spew that blasphemy on this show to come up here in the morning? I was in a good mood. How dare you do this, Kendrick Kirk? You know, Trey Young is a is an exciting player. He's not a player that I look like, oh, man, the Knicks are running into Trey Young. I, I just don't feel that way. If I had to guess who's going to win that series, I'm going to guess the Knicks. <clears throat> They're very well coached, and uh, as Atlanta is, and a really good defensive team, um, I think, and they do have home court, I think the Knicks probably win the series. They're going down, man. They're going down. Hmm. Knicks stand up. That's what this is going to be. Okay, they got home court advantage. Uh, they're gonna struggle a little bit in the ATL, no question about it. Uh, but in the end, I think it'll be a seven game series. I could see each team defending its home court. It comes down to game seven at Madison Square Garden. The Knicks close the deal, advance to the second Ooh. round, second round against the Philadelphia 76. Man, Stephen, That's what I see. Stephen, I'll tell you this too. What I like about this series is it's gonna be if it goes seven, it's seven home games for the Knicks. Because you know, you know, in Atlanta, the Knicks represent really well fan wise. They get loud for the Knicks oh, yeah. down in Atlanta. Guarding Julius Randle, who has had his own MVP caliber season for the Knicks. There are officials. Tony Brothers, our crew chief. Bullock frequently called the unsung hero by Tom Thibodeau. And Trey Young drills the shot. Young just shaking and baking. Previously, the floater stopping popping this time at the free throw line. Boy, well, mentioned the Knicks. First time in eight years in the playoffs. The Hawks have missed the playoffs the last three years. So they're psyched to be back in the postseason. An obscene anti Trey Young chant erupts as Randall goes back three pointer. Got it! Collins, corner three, too much. And the weak side rebound is controlled by the Knicks. Here's quickly Splash! My goodness! <laughs> this is fun. Trey Young into the paint, turn back. And that uh, salary cut move. Here is Barrett, corner three, got it! Two point game. And, and really just loving the maturity of, of RJ Barrett, not settling for the threes after he missed those first two. Got his rhythm by getting to the rim and then had the presence to finish up over the top on Bogey. Right now, D. Rose's mix looking for a stop. 9.8, both teams in the penalty. It'll be Herter, the inbounder for Atlanta. And Tibbs has gone to his defensive lineup. Neil Aquila in the game now defensively on the point. Let's see how they play this. Here is Young, finds his spot. Young on the floater, puts it in. Trey Young with a miraculous shot. Wow, what an incredible play by Trey Young. Defense broke down, nobody there to help. You know, Trey, what was going through your head when you look at the crowd and say, it's real quiet in this mug. <laughs> looking yeah. for the kids, you know what that feels like. Yeah. Everybody's chanting F you. Uh, I don't know if any of y'all had that, but uh, I've had it a couple of times. I had it in college and I had it again tonight. So, I mean, it, it got real quiet at the end. And uh, for me, I wanted to hear those F you chants again. He went crazy. Trey Young, nothing wrong with him going crazy. No, it's Bright, it's young crazy. player. All that shit he said in the locker room afterward, we remember. It's on now. Then we'll close it out. 4 2. Okay. Next. Got it. What do you have the shouldn't have said what is Shouldn't have said what you said in that locker room, young man.
the shot. Right here, I think they might be taking a look at this here. See right there, that last part of it? They may be taking a look to see if it was overly aggressive and unnecessary to push to the floor. Next, no more fouls to give. It's a 9-0 New York run, the lead by nine, with a minute 13. A victory lap here for the Knicks. A video was tweeted out highlighting a fan also potentially spitting on Trey Young as he was inbounding the ball. This series and a lot made about his lack of offense in those first two contests. John Collins and James Randall having a little conversation working against Randall. Got a mismatch here, although Randall, a good defender, will switch with him. Young with the drive. If we've learned anything about the Knicks this season, it's that they're never out of it. Tom Thibodeau, coach team, and Taj Gibbs. The after two minutes remaining in Atlanta. Randall over the left hand, blocked by Capella. Well, among the leaders in the league, two per game. For the Knicks, two stars. Questions will rain down on the Knicks and their coaching staff about their impotent Little fade away from the baseline, no good. Two for six now in the ball game. Young in a rush, got it. Man, he stepped on the accelerator. Josh Gibson came home to play in front of his friends and family. They get the turnover, Barrett. Knicks have a three on two. Barrett on the move all the way to the cup. Got it. And New York regains the lead. Most improved player. It's been a struggle for him because. Ooh. Wow, that's now, a, that a very be... aggressive. That might be that... a little. 27 to 9. Bogdanovich checking a lot of boxes with 12 points, six assists, eight rebounds. They really are true to Atlanta. They're trying to play tough. I mean, uh, push our guys around and talk shit. But. Uh... We, we can do that too. But now we're coming to your home to win this game again. They sent you on vacation. He also referred to Julius Randle as fake tough. Him be fighting words, right? Reggie, he's been one of the hottest shooters in the NBA over the last month. Young with the step sets it up for Capella. Well, we said the high spring roll. He's going to get into his float. It looked like Randle laid out Okongu right there. But look, they're going to huddle up here. I, I don't think they called a foul here. Certainly, look at the elbows here. Yeah, there's an elbow to the chip. But oh, got a piece of it. That comes Collins. Pass. Wow, intended for Hunter. And a foul, and Hunter is upset. Yeah, he thought that Gibson gave him a little bit of too hard of a shove in the back. Young was pushed slightly from behind by Randall. Solomon Hill in the world having a nice friendly conversation of the next season. As Young fires from way downtown and takes it out. <laughs> Not appreciated. Well, here's Trey Young at his finest right here. A step back 30 footer. In the appropriate, you are in the garden. You might as well take a bow. <laughs> as I was talking about. Now the Hawks take the series at five, winning two of the games here at the Garden. Atlanta's first playoff series win. Who are you picking in this series? Sixers and six. Sixers and six. If Joel Embiid comes out on Sunday and he's 100%, like he looks 100% at least, uh, five. Embiid is going to have his hands full here today because Clint Capella, he'll be injury. 34 seconds to go here in the first half. Young, they get the switch with Harris. A deep bomb! Oh, from way downtown! In rotation. Herder under duress. Bogdanovich for three! Oh, killer! 
and he says shush to the crowd. Bill Foley is six. They throw it into the backcourt for Trey Young. The surest ball handler throws it up, and that is the exclamation point. John Collins. Already today. Knocks down the free throw. Still a two possession game. Atlanta has to get it in bounds here. You can run the baseline after a made basket of Bogdanovich. Double team. Oh, I tried to lay Trip Simmons with the layup, and it's a three two point game. Remember, we always say please do not foul a jump shooter behind the three point line. Capella with the board, and that should do it. There it is. The Atlanta Hawks are going to riot into Philadelphia and give it the thumbs up. Now, at the end, let's focus on the end. They were like scared puppies, Atlanta, in the end of this game. That's not a team that's going to outlast you in a playoff series. That team looked like the way they closed that game out, they look like they can close out the 76ers in the series. So, like, I, I sit here today, I am not worried for one bit. That has been the group. Scott Foster will put it in the air. Tony Brothers, Ken Bauer. Very experienced. Blew it right out of the gates. Danny Green finds Bogdanovich and just taken away by Harris. Up ahead, Embiid running the floor. Oh, side step. Man, this guy is something special. Embiid got a chance to go for 40. And there it is. You know they'll be rocking at State Farm Arena in downtown Atlanta. That's a final, 118-102. Zach Sarpa. <laughs> Ma starts the second half because Danny Green got injured. Strained right calf. Four minutes into the game, he will not return. Tony Snell is starting the second half as Embiid. Embiid tracks it down. Plenty of time here on the shot clock. Timer now at seven. Cork Maz puts it up and puts it in for three. What a game. What a game this young man has. Nine more to the Hawks, but their defense on Trey Young, they really contained him. <laughs> Hawks fans, what's up, man? What's up, Hawks fans? That's it. The Sixers are going to win the series. You don't have enough good players to compete with us. It's, it's just the way it is. You know what I mean? When you're relying on John Collins and Kevin Herter and Bogdanovich, these are not star NBA players. I'm sorry. They Atlanta wants to exploit. Nice play there. Cormaz gives him a lot of offensive punch. Here's Harris now. And by Simmons. First points of the game for this made. Going on fade away inside. Hits. Shooting that shot a little long. But Todd Howard throws it down. This time. Open, passes it up, now he's on his way. And Capella with it. Good close out there by Atlanta. Up ahead, Collins, another one. Oh, he is hard by Simmons. All right here, beneficiary of Joel and B complaining to the officials about the non-call on the other end, able to knock it in. But you notice the pace with the big lineups in has slowed down, but it's benefited the Atlanta Hawks in the sense of now that the foul quick. He knocks them both down. Clutch free throws. Three-point game. Chance at the last shot to tie it here if you're Philadelphia. Trying to force overtime. Here is Curry. Puts it up. And no good. And Atlanta wins it. The Hawks. This time will now. They're going to hold the fifth and second. Beautiful offense. As Thibault set up Ben Simmons. Embiid John with Capella. Officials get between them. Sixers with all kind of swagger here tonight. He's playing their home crowd. Four for four from beyond the arc. Simmons sets up Embiid. He'll fire a three. That was down. Just like that. Here come the Hawks. Hawks trying to get on a run right now in this fourth quarter. That's got to get on a run with Blue Williams in this arena right now. Two possession game. Young the floater. That gets it to go. It's a two-point game. That's the matchup they want to exploit. Gallinari backs his way in. Now Williams. Thibel on him. Gives it right back. Late clock here. Down to four. Gallinari. Big shot for the Hawks. Point one on the clock. 
And this is going to be an Atlanta victory in Game 5. What a comeback and what a collapse. If you're a Sixers fan and you thought blowing an 18-point lead in Atlanta in Game 4 was bad, Welcome to Game 5 back home in Philly. With the series lead on the line, Philadelphia forged a 26-point lead. And with two minutes left in the third quarter, we're up 24. But the Hawks, who managed only 40 points in the first half, scored 40 in the fourth quarter. Game last night, friends. <laughs> Sixers blowing a 26-point lead at home. It, to me, this was the second worst loss in Philadelphia sports history. A 26-point lead at home with a crowd that has been with you wholeheartedly for an entire night is a special kind of disgrace. Milwaukee, Brooklyn play game seven tomorrow. Winner of that series will face the winner of this series as we are underway from Atlanta. 20 or more, seven consecutive playoff games, but had four points in game five and no field goals in the second half. Great start for the Hawks, four is it, less than a minute in. Comes Young, looking for his first basket of the quarter. Flops, oh, Collins with one hand on top of MB! Oh, my! Basket, so it's a three-point game. There it is, we gotta get all over them now. Free throws, and the Sixers force game seven. Both series in the Eastern Conference semifinals are headed to a game seven. It's gonna be a guy to watch tonight. You know, Young and Embiid are gonna have big games. Sometimes it's those ancillary players as Philadelphia controls the tip. A five-point lead is down to three now. Simmons trying to chip away. Embiid for three. And we are tied! Joel Embiid! Tied it out by Curry. Curry off the floor. Herter, three-pointer. Oh, man, that's going to be a foul. Herter hit the deck. Tybal fouls him. In January, he calmly knocks down three free throws. If he got Gallinari on him, spins, lost the handle. Gallinari got a piece. Up is Gallinari. Down it goes. A Philadelphia turnover and the Atlanta Hawks. And Atlanta, your Hawks are headed back to the Eastern Conference Finals for the first time in six years. Bucks and foe. Four. Oh, oh, foe. Sweet. Sweet. Hit the button then. No, hey, no, hit the, no, 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 no. Don't hit that button. No, no, no. Hey, Bucks and Foe. Like the great most Love you, Dad. Fo, fo, fo. Moses fo, fo, Malone, fo. Dad. Foe, foe, foe. Accelerated, put the speed on, but came up short. Here's Trey Young going behind the back. Young in the lane. Young is able to get the roll. And Mike Budenholzer wants to talk things over. Trey Young with another terrific game. He has 30 points. But on the drive, he goes to the left. Here's Young setting it up for Collins. That was a pass, too. The Collins do the rest. That is a beautiful play there by Young. That is absolutely an assist. Points. So how are they going to find an answer for this man right here? Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, oh no, he did. With a little shake no, he did. No, he did. The three. No, he did. Called in this game. It's been free-flowing. Look at this move. Take your time. A little shuffle. And then let's see. Okay, I'll shoot the three. It's not the shot the Hawks to be looking for. Here's Young in the lane. Finds Collins for three. Timely three. John Collins. From the left-hand corner. Gets to Middleton. He has a three-point shot. It is off. Rebound is back to Taken by Young, who fires to the crowd. And the Atlanta Hawks have come up with an upset as they defeat the Milwaukee Bucks. Walked into a three right there. Hawks by three. Final minute, third quarter. Bad pass. Here come the Bucks. Forbes wide open for three. Here's another look at, at that play right, yep, right there. It's a little bit of a tweak. Timeout taken. Hawks by three. Counting the status of Hawks star Trey Young ahead of game four tonight of the Eastern Conference Finals. Malika Andrews, what can you tell us about Trey's availability? 
Well, Al, Trey Young has been ruled out for tonight's game four. Adrian Wojnarowski and I are told. You've got a veteran point guard in Lou Williams subbing in for Trey Young. We know that Lou is a big time shot maker. The kid, four black jerseys in the paint converging around Giannis, building that wall. Williams, yes. In this series. Three minutes to go, first quarter. Reddish on the drive, and Reddish scores! Just under five to go. Look first at that. Half. Good play here by Reddish. Off the steal. Reddish on the drive. Lays it up and in. Around Middleton. Oh! He was trying to, trying to lob to compel it, but the ball went in. And someone's down. Reddish over Connaughton. Three. Got to find more time for Reddish. At two apiece. Game five in Milwaukee. Thursday night. I mean, we pros too. We know how to play basketball as well. You know what I mean? I think I think that's the difference between um, you know the, between the guys in the locker room and everybody else. You know, when Trey goes down, we still feel like. We're, we're confident in our abilities as players as well, obviously. HQ, Giannis Antetokounmpo out for tonight's Game 5. So, too, is Trey Young. He entered the day questionable. Determined now, just moments ago, that he will not play in tonight's Game 5 in Milwaukee. So, it will be a battle of the others. So With no Giannis or Trey Young on the court, the Bucks were able to take advantage with both team star players out last night with a 123-112 win. Four of the Bucks' five starters had at least 20 points. Brooke Lopez leading the way with 33 as Milwaukee now leads the series 3-2. Danny in anticipation. This is great. Absolutely great. Happy. Bucks control the opening tip. Holiday comes across under pressure. I don't think he has. That explosiveness, yes. I don't know if you trust that ankle. Oh, nice move by Holiday, able to pass. As they say in the schoolyard. Here's Teague. Jeff Teague with a three. Holiday, back for Middleton, wide open for three, and hits. Five quick points, right? Sometimes just seeing the ball go through. The 16 point lead for the Walking Reddish cuts into it by hitting a three. Crowd has come back to life. Young protecting the dribble. Collins, yes, and a foul! Here, so these fans can give. What a run here. What a season and a run for the playoffs. And the crowd reacts. To this gallant effort by the Atlanta Hawks. And Trey Young hears it. Gave it his all despite the leg injury. Well, that's going to be a team that's going to be a force to be reckoned with in years to come because of their youth. Well coached by Nate McMillan. I hope he gets a nice. I shook up the world! I shook up the world! I shook up the world!